Hey guys, um, yeah, <laughs> it's been, it's been a long, long, long while, I know, um, I don't even really remember how to talk in front of a camera because I haven't done it in so long and I'm, I'm sorry, um, but I just wanted to hop in like here and tell you what's going on in my life, update you on stuff, hear about like from you guys because we haven't talked in a while and I'm also kind of MIA on my other social media as well. I'm gonna talk about that as well. But um, yeah, I just I just wanted to hop in and, and talk to you guys a bit. Um, and yeah, let's let's get into this. So I don't really know where to start because honestly, <laughs> life has been like crazy the last year and since i uploaded pretty much and also like the world is crazy right now like yeah so first of all i would like to update that i'm not living in germany <laughs> which is small small detail um i actually came back to israel a year ago so uh at this point i've yeah i've been here for a year after saying i'm probably gonna stay in germany but uh, I'm gonna keep it brief, honestly, because I I, I don't want to talk about it too much, and I feel like it's it's been a long time, and it's been it kind of feels like another lifetime at this point. So I don't want to talk about it too much, but I will say that I decided to come back to Israel basically a year ago. The reasons being mostly visa and money, and I just didn't feel good. Or, or very comfortable, I would say, in German society. Um, I have a lot of amazing friends and a lot of amazing people I know from there, but it's just, I wasn't vibing with it. <laughs> like it wasn't, it wasn't like, I don't know. I feel there is some kind of social disconnect between me and, and a lot of German people. It was kind of, it was hard and also Besides that, I just realized like I was there and I closed my business and I had no, no source of income, nor did I have any kind of freedom to actually explore and realize what I do want to do because I had no money, <laughs> no like, no no help from anyone, like, like I was just there like alone, you know, like I had friends and stuff, but, it, but it's... I couldn't actually like figure out what I want to do and then it's like I have to pay a lot of money just to stay there and I just thought at that point what for because I have nothing there really um, but yeah I do have a lot of amazing friends that I really miss and I haven't been to Germany since which really sucks because I wanted to but something always came in the way and then it, now when I was going to go to the festivals um the pandemic struck out so none of that for us <laughs> probably not this year i i do hope that i can go visit this year but who knows so yeah that's about germany um when i was there though i did think what can i do to actually be able to be free like i mean look however i want feel free and still have a job <laughs> i was just thinking about what profession can i do and still and and be like and have it be artistic and have fun and look however i want so what came in mind is like always is kind of tattoos and piercings just working in the studio and tattoos are definitely not my thing and i used to think like piercings are not either because i i thought that it's gonna be really hard for me to poke someone <laughs> but i thought okay let's look at a few videos and see how i feel about it and then i'll i'll decide so i saw a lot of videos started looking at a lot of videos and i kind of fell in love with it and which is really interesting so i decided back then in germany that i'm going to come back to israel and i'm going to um learn how to pierce and that's just like just what I said before is there I had no connections, I had nothing. Um, here I have a lot and my friend's uncle is actually a piercer and he's actually been a piercer for the last 20 years. Um, 
and he taught me how to pierce. So I did that and I finished and I was working uh, in a studio which didn't work out because of the boss so I had to quit um, but now I should have started in another, in another studio and then the pandemic struck, struck out so I'm not having a lot of luck uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah so yeah I just I just wanted to update that I pierce now and it's nice and yeah I do have to say though that it has stresses me out quite a bit I don't know why like Everything I do, I always want it to be the best that I can, and when you have that kind of responsibility on someone else's body and health, um, not that I'm a doctor or anything, but still, it's it stresses me out. Um, maybe a tiny bit more than it should. So, uh, right now, I, I do want to pierce, um, but I don't know how it's going to happen Like after, after the pandemic is over. I do want to see if I want to do maybe a part-time thing, maybe, I don't know yet, I need to think about that, because what I really, really care about right now is just having some peace and quiet and not being stressed out. Um, honestly, that's what I had in pretty much the last year, but I, I just realized that I can't handle stress, I can't handle like a lot of stress, I just can't, I, I'm already an overthinker i already like overanalyze everything and everything stresses me out that i don't want to be that stressed out in work settings as well i want to have a bit more time off um besides that i also actually edit videos so um i have a friend uh, that i edit her videos here on youtube and i also um edit her courses and stuff uh and do a lot of other stuff for her so basically yeah i do edit videos now as well for other people which has been interesting i realized that editing youtube videos i don't really like honestly that's also part of why i don't upload as much because i don't like editing videos uh but i i have edited a lot of other stuff for her and i do pretty much like that i like working from home i realized and i like having like my own freedom to decide when to do what I need to do um, and how and and just you know it doesn't stress me out even even if there's a deadline it doesn't stress me so it doesn't stress me out as much so that's it like those are my I came back from Germany I'm now living in Israel I have to say that I do really prefer living in Israel I know I never thought I would say that but I do um, just my friends here and the amount of freedom that I do feel, and I, I did realize that freedom is in your head. I swore to myself that when I come back, I will not change the, the level of freedom that I felt when I lived in Germany. So that means I just, I, I realized that I am the only one inhibiting my own freedom. So I realized that once I decided to feel free here, is when I started to feel free here um, and it worked like now I feel much better here much more free here financially it's hor it's, it's pretty horrible to live here um, especially now with the pandemic and stuff thankfully I was still living with my parents I was going to move out but I was still living with my parents uh, because the things with the other studio didn't work out um, so but that was a good thing apparently uh, because then, yeah, the pandemic struck out, and if that would happen, and I would be living alone, I would be broke right now. So, that's a good thing. Um, yay. <laughs> so, right now, I'm sure, as you can see, is not my room at my parents' house. Uh, I'm now in a hotel where my boyfriend works, and um, I'm here in a kind of quarantine. Like, he works right here right now, and he just asked me if I want to join him here, because I was going kind of crazy in my um, parents' house at this point, because uh, it's, it was too much. Um, so I came here, and now I'm here, which is really nice, and, and yes, I'm currently dating someone, and no, I'm not gonna have him in any videos and stuff. I think I learned my lesson uh, with my ex, because I, I know that us being together was a lot of the reasons why a lot of you guys have like watched my videos. I don't want to have that again. I if someone watches my videos, I want them to be 
going to be because of me and because they enjoy my content and because they enjoy my my um, creation and art and not because they like seeing me and my boyfriend. Um, and also, I I don't want to hear about it years after. Because me and my ex broke up like two and a half years ago at this point. And I'm still hearing a lot of things about him. And it's like... Did no one get the memo at this point? So that's that's pretty much it. Like, I moved back to Israel. Uh, I do have to say, like I said, that I I feel better here. I do feel better in a lot of ways. I don't know if I will stay here. Um, there is there might be a way that I actually get a European passport, which should happen within like a year, a year and a half, maybe. Uh, I hope. And then I will see if I want to move somewhere. Um, if I would like to give Germany another try, then I can just move with no problem this time. Um, I doubt it. I don't really see myself moving back to Germany. I thought maybe somewhere like Spain or something if I do move. I don't know. And it's... I don't even know if I will move. Like, I, I don't know right now. What I do know is that I want to move somewhere to nature. I want to move somewhere without many people and I want to move somewhere where I have a lot more peace and quiet. I want to um, get my license, which I've kind of been thinking of on and off for years, but I never really put too much, too much, too much effort into it and too much like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I think that it's going to happen now because uh, I want to move somewhere quite far away and for that I will need a license because there would be no public transportation there um, so that's probably going to happen and uh, yeah I kind of want to move more more quiet area and pick when I want to be part of society and civilization and just be able to be in nature because I feel that does a lot of good for me um, so yeah and Work-wise, I told you, right now I don't think anyone is really working, um, but generally I do Pierce now, which has been very fun. And I don't know, I I, I want to be honest, I sometimes I have the urge to make videos again, which is why I'm doing this right now, um, until I started speaking. Once I started speaking, I was like... I, I don't know why I always want to make a video, but the second I, I turn on the camera and I speak to a camera, I'm like, no, no, I, I don't like all of this. I don't like, I mean, I don't like how I'm talking. I don't think it's interesting. I don't want to put this out. Um, that's the, the, that's what happens to me automatically when I turn on the camera. I do think I'm going to upload this. I've made this video three times at this point every few months. Um, but I think it's time to upload this and give you guys some answers. Um, like I said, I do feel sometimes that I want to go back into doing videos, but I don't really care about, about, like, I don't really care about the goth scene anymore. Like, it's not that... It felt more like home to me, but I don't like goth music. I like, I'm sure all of you know, I like mostly metal, alternative rock, stuff like that. Um, lately, I've actually even been listening to core, which I haven't, I didn't like, like throughout my entire life, and now somehow I do. Um, and yeah, I, I, I will go to some festivals because obviously there's bands that I like, but right now that's not the main music that I like listening to. And also, I just kind of grew tired of it at this point. I I don't care that much about... Like, I don't... I, I feel like there's a lot of people trying to, to be famous or be more, and it's it's become a really, really commercial scene, which I do not like. Because I'm, I'm sure I've talked about it a few times on my uh, channel. I'm kind of a minimalist. That's what I strive for. I've actually been really into zero waste lately. And I'm trying to reduce my waste by a lot. As well as veganism and stuff. Which you all know that is my thing. 
I I don't want to be a part of mindless consumerism. It's not me. It's never been me. I don't enjoy it. And it's just it's just a waste. It hurts our planet. It hurts people and there there's no point. I don't know. So I don't really see myself doing videos like that anymore. I don't want to work with companies either. They're selling me clothes for two reasons. One, a lot, most of them are not ethically produced at all. Um, and are very expensive and are very uh, problematic for the environment. And two, it makes me consume more and because I'm giving stuff for free but I will never use them. I have to say that almost everything that I got um, for videos, which I haven't done a lot of sponsored videos, like sponsored, I, I got a lot of like clothes. I think I did, I did like two maybe. Um, I don't wear almost any of those things. I never did. And uh, even if I like them, it's it's just not me. I don't, I don't care for it. I, I like, if I do want something, I'm going to make it myself uh, or I'm going to find something secondhand Occasionally, I do buy something new, but honestly, I just don't buy a lot of clothes. It just doesn't doesn't interest me that much. I'm much more interested in tattoos, as you can see. I, by the way, yeah, got my neck as well. Uh, I do want to finish this, but I have a lot of ide ideas and a lot of things I want to do with my tattoos. So I'm, I want to get my hands done. I want to get my ears. I want to get sorry this hand. Even uh, I haven't showed you that my microdermals. <laughs> I want to get like my lower stomach done. I want to get a lot of stuff done. And that interests me a lot more than clothes um, at this point. It's just, I don't really care about it. Um, so, like I said, I do want to make videos. I just don't know really what to make them about. I will do a few covers. I, me and music have also been kind of weird lately. I have periods in which I sing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I had six months in which I haven't sing one note i kid you not like nothing um and that's because when i focus on something and i was focusing on piercing at the time because i was studying it and learning it and um when i focus on something it's really hard for me to focus on other things as well so i was focusing on piercing i could not sing anything and it really kind of went out the window i do want and like singing but i also feel like at this point i'm kind of in a crossroads that i don't know where my life is going at all feel like I've tried and have done a lot of small things, uh, but or a lot of large things. I've, I've tried a lot of things and somehow none of them really stuck with me. Um, I like most of them, but I just realized I'm not passionate enough about them. And I think the only thing that I have been passionate enough about in my life was music, but I don't even know if, if I feel like that now anymore. The one thing I've always been passionate about is my appearance in in the sense of trying to transform myself into something more than human. That's what I call. Um, I don't know. It's that is something I'm really, really passionate about, which is it's interesting. I find it sad sometimes, <laughs> but it is. It is interesting and it gives me joy, so why not? You know, sometimes you just I just judge myself for finding joy in stuff, which is crazy. Because why? I, I This is something that I enjoy and something that I like and it's not hurting anyone, so why not just enjoy it? So that's what I'm trying to do, trying to put that aside and just letting myself enjoy something that I enjoy, which is creating myself. Um, and I feel that's the only art that really stuck with me throughout this entire time is just creating myself um, to look like something kind of more than human, like look something like something that you would see in a fantasy movie. Um, yeah, I am going to probably make more videos. I can't really commit into as to when I'm going to upload or exactly what, but I do want to make a few videos. Um, but I would love you guys to tell me what you would like to see. I did want to maybe start doing something like zero waste and being alternative. So um, 
kind of zero waste alternate zero waste alternatives to being alternative um like clothes and other stuff i do need to think about it more as to how to make like a lot of switches um but like i said i have been really into zero waste and i'm really trying to reduce my waste um cutting my hair has been really helpful by the way i love um so zero waste veganism are definitely things that i am passionate about and i would probably love to do videos about i think i think uh but if you have any more ideas and any more things you want to hear me talk about or or you want me to do then i would love that um when it comes to makeup it's probably not gonna happen i haven't really done makeup in a long time and while I do enjoy seeing it to some extent, I don't, I'm not as passionate about it as I used to be. And also, like I said, consumerism, it, it bothers me. Like, I don't, like, get the stuff that you need, but I don't, I, I've never bought a lot of makeup, by the way. It was never my thing. It was never like, okay, let's get a lot of stuff. Um, but I, I, I am not, I'm just not that into it. I just don't see it as important I, I see like okay you can get a few stuff that you need and make a lot of looks out of that but i don't know basically not something i'm really passionate about right now so makeup is probably out of the question here um not much use because i have none left even though can you see how much um uh, white hair i have it's crazy i love this so much so that's why i pretty much stopped dyeing my hair because i have so much white hair that i am enjoying this um and i can do some videos about piercings if you want that that is definitely something i can do um i can do videos about uh my tattoos or just thinking about tattoos ideas in general that can also be a thing i'm not that passionate about tattoos i am passionate about self-creation which is similar but not um I realized also after working in studios that I do not like tattoos. Like, I do not want a tattoo. It's just not, I don't enjoy it at all. Um, and I do have to say also that some of the reasons why I'm, I want to pierce, but I'm also stressed about it, is that it's a very hard feel. Like, it's, very, it's a very hard feel to work in. A lot of the people are very hard people to work with i'll just say it like that and and it's i'm not used to it i'm not used to i'm you know i i'm just genuinely nice and try to help everyone i i don't have a large ego i don't care about these things and i just like you know somewhere that's nice and free and 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 yeah just just ego free pretty much and it's very hard to find this field they find. But uh, yeah, so zero waste, veganism, piercings, tattoos. Give me other ideas that you guys want to see. I would prefer if you give me like specific video ideas that you want to see because I find it very hard to um, think about stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. This has been a long video, and uh, I'm not sure if anyone actually survived this entire video, or anyone actually cares anymore. But, I do. And I wanted to share this. And, it's, it's just, I feel really sad a lot of the times when I look at my channel, and I'm like, and I, re I, I remember everything, like I have all these memories about this, these events and these nice things, and I was like, why don't, don't I do this anymore? <laughs> But yeah, um, I also, I feel like this is like, <laughs> like this video is way too long, but uh, I did want to update that Lucy also moved to Greece, so um, yeah, she's not gonna be in any of my videos anytime soon. I haven't visited her yet, I should, once this is all over, um, so yeah, um, she's not gonna really be in any of my videos anytime soon. And I don't really have anyone that can take my pictures and create like art like that, um, which I am I am still passionate about a lot of times. It's just I don't really have concepts that I wanna I wanna make. 
it's just I I don't know if I'm the only person but l like that I don't like creating concepts um, and then filming that and then just like and 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 then it's still in the fantasy realm it's like if I look a certain way I and and I like it I want to look like that always I, I don't know how to explain that I just there <laughs> this is literally as you saw like in my older photo shoots what I did with body paint and now it's on me because it was never just oh okay this is body paint just for fun it was always I really want to look like this but I don't think I ever will be able to uh, which is what I thought back then and then that barrier just I just made it disappear uh, I just with a lot of work it just disappeared and then at, at this point I just I want to look the way that I want I mean I want to accomplish the way that I want to look and I want it to be forever so not just for photo shoots it's just the way that I want to look so basically what I'm trying to say is all this fantasy and all these like really dark photo shoots which I really do enjoy still but I want it to be like how I look all the time and not just for one photo shoot if you get what I'm saying so yeah uh, <laughs> I hoped someone watched this video until the end uh, I would remake this video right now uh, I know myself oh and I would make try and make this shorter but it's not gonna happen because I just rambled for 30 minutes and there is no way I'm gonna record this again because I know myself again um, that's what I've done for the last six months trying to do this video so this is what i'm putting out i'm sorry <laughs> i hope i hope you did get something out of this video and if you have any questions or you want to make want me to make a more in-depth video about anything i talked about here so if you want to hear about something like like normally and not me just trying to not even rambling, just trying to ramble. Um, let me know. So, again, if you have any ideas for any videos and stuff, let me know. And I do love you guys. I did miss you guys. And I'm recording this from my phone, by the way, so I hope it's 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 going to be good quality. But I love you guys, and I missed you, and uh, I will see you soon. I do want to show you the view for a second, though, because we're on the ninth floor, and it's it's nice. I don't know if you can see, but just there, there's the beach, and this is Tel Aviv, pretty much, this is Tel Aviv, um, in the direction of the sea, um, and there, yeah, there is Jaffa, here, I think, yeah. <laughs> I can't I, I can't tell because I'm trying to look at the other way. Uh here is Jaffa and that's the sea and yeah this is Tel Aviv, this is Orchild Boulevard. Yeah, that's that's it. I wanted to show you guys a bit of this. Um there's quite a bit of people outside even though there shouldn't be anyone outside because of the pandemic. But yeah. Um that's it guys. I hope to see you very soon. And, and I hope you're healthy and good and you're surviving this crazy times. Um, yes, so stay healthy, love you, and see you soon.